Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In just 43 days' time, we're set out to crash out with no deal. Yet the Prime Minister and this front bench opposite insist on running down the clock, giving a completely false choice, no deal versus Theresa May's bad deal. We know that the motion here today is non-binding. So why, Mr. Speaker, why are we here to discuss the chaos that this government has got us into just days from the biggest disaster that we are facing as a country, that we have been facing, that we are facing in a generation, just days. And before and after the votes two weeks ago, this House knew that the EU were not prepared to move on amending the withdrawal agreement. Yet still the Prime Minister insists on going back to Brussels to ask again and again, running down the clock. The one thing that this House has been consistently clear on is that the majority of members do not want this Prime Minister's deal. And neither, in my view, do they want a no deal. Nobody wants a no deal. So why is this the option? Why are we facing a no deal just 43 days before we are set to crash out? Why are we being blackmailed by this Prime Minister into voting for her deal to avoid a no deal? A Prime Minister pursuing her policy of brinkmanship, trying to scare MPs into voting for her deal. And let me tell you, Mr Speaker, that this will not work. We will not be blackmailed. This shouldn't be about the Tory party. Not then, not now, and not ever. The referendum was called back by the then Prime Minister to prevent a split in his own party, to settle things once and for all. Well, that went well, didn't it? This country is now an embarrassment. The Prime Minister is a laughing stock. And all over the world, we are being watched. And I'm afraid that what they see is chaos. A weak Prime Minister unable to control her own party and a government about to commit an act of such self-harm that it will take years if not generations for us to recover, economically and socially, in our communities and our businesses. Far from being outward-looking, confident and strong country, leaving the European Union pursuing a policy of isolationism. Well, thank you, Clay. I'll get my point. On that point.